Thank you for tuning in to uh, Angler Sports Center's Guns and Stuff, Episode 8. Today we're going to be talking about sick of deer and waterfowl. More in particular, over on the Eastern Shore, Dorchester County, Vienna area. Um, first thing I want to talk about, sick of deer in particular, is a sick of seducer that we have. Um, this is one of my favorite sick of calls that you can buy. Mainly because you can do a mew, you can do a whistle, you can do a chirp, you can do everything um, that a sick of deer makes with their mouth. Um, what's also very cool with this is that you also have a CD by Doug Wigfield. Doug Wigfield does an amazing job um, in explaining everything, giving you ideas on how to make your sounds better. Um, and it's actually a nice CD just to put in when you're making that long drive down to the Eastern Shore, which is about an hour, hour and a half. So just put that in and listen to it. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is obviously over there, you have a lot of frag, you have a lot of woods, you have a lot of stuff that you can get lost in. Um, so each morning, uh, I have these marking tags for tacks, mainly for just being able to get to my stand and being able to leave my stand um, after the hunt. Because especially in the morning when it's dark, you can get lost very easily and you know you can get very, very scared out there. Um, you also have the marking tape, just another help um, just to locate your stand and just know where you are. Another thing I want to talk about is thermocells. Anyone that's hunted over there, they know that the mosquitoes over there are basically mutants. Um, so what you want is this thermocell 15 by 15 area. And uh, you know, it's just like a bubble that goes around you. You can actually over there, you can see the mosquitoes surrounding you, but they won't come into that bubble. Um, another extra thing you can get is a spray. Spray on your clothing before you go out hunting. Another deterrent for mosquitoes or any other annoying pest out there. Um, now I'm going to be transitioning over to the gun section. This is a Savage 30 odd six um, spring. It's a really nice gun for particularly sticky deer hunting because over in Dorchester County you can actually use rifles and not just a shotgun only county. So especially for sticky deer over there you can lose them very easily. So you want a really nice high powered rifle to put them down so you don't have to track them through that and potentially lose a nice six point stag. Um, so yeah, it's a 30 odd six Savage. Um, we have it in stock. It's running 399. Really good deal for that. Another thing I want to talk about. Obviously, if you're hunting over there, waders are a necessity. Um, I'm showing you the hip waders that we have made by Hodgman. Um, you know, not a lot of insulation, but the thing is that a nice um, merino wool sock will keep you warm. Or we also sell um, foot warmers, so you can just put that underneath your sock and you'll be good to go. But why I wanted to show you these is that they're $49.99 for the pair. And uh, as most of you guys know that hunt over there, you would be destroying them. Um, you know, you can buy a nice pair, but if you're going out every single day or every weekend, you, it's inevitable that you're going to be destroying your waders. So just get a nice cheap pair that you can destroy and, you know, just mess up is just a good idea for you. Yeah. And uh, now Still I'm just the job done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Now I'm going to be uh, bringing you over to Roger. He's going to be talking more of the waterfowl aspect of things. So. All right, guys. So I used to do a ton of waterfowl hunting over on the eastern shore, um, Ellis Bay, Deal Island. And just a couple things that I always made sure I had when I went out there. Number one is a spotlight. So I'm leaving early in the morning. It's cold. It's dark. I want to make sure I can see where I'm going. Um, another thing is a push pole. So always have one of these. Marshes get really, really shallow. They're unpredictable. The tides come in and out very quickly. Um, it's easy to get stuck out there and not have, it, or not be able to use your engine. So always good to have a push pole. The other thing, I don't have it here, but a Danforth anchor with a really long line. So there have been times where I have been stuck and I sit on the front of the boat and throw that anchor as far as I can and then just pull myself out with it. Um, Speaking from experience, you definitely want to make sure you have a long line with that um, so you can really actually make some progress when you're pulling yourself out. Um, another thing I like to have is a saw or like a machete, anything like that. Um, I'm making my blinds when I get out there, so I'll also bring burlap with me and some stakes. Put your stakes out, put the burlap up, and then cut down some of the natural um, marsh grass that's out there and just kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. And then a throwable so um unfortunately i know someone who has passed duck hunting um 
and a throwable possibly may have saved their life if they if we were able to get this to them in time um so always keep a throwable with you you have to have it but make sure you have it readily available um especially when guys are out there messing with decoys picking up ducks make sure you have one of these with you sometimes multiple because if you throw it and it's nowhere near him you're going to want to have another shot um so definitely bring a throwable the other thing i would say um is a lighter or any kind somehow to make fire if you get stuck out there you want to build a fire you want to keep dry um and the fire as well might draw other people towards you and might end up saving you um so just a few things to mention um the other thing gun wise i don't have one here but a gun um either cerakoted or dipped in camo uh that just adds an extra layer of protection against the salt um so yeah definitely good to have something that is covered not just a wood stock or blue barrel um something additional to add on yeah. that roger was talking about um the throw cushion another safety thing that i found if you're hunting over there always have at least your phone a gps or at least know yeah. where you are look at the moon look at anything just to give you a pinpoint on the area that you're in because i've been in a situation where i shot a sick deer i got down tracking it for 10 15 minutes found it and then looking around and i have no idea where i am and i'm yeah. you know i'm scared so just make sure you have someone on you so you can figure out your location or at least know where you are um, that's something very important you can get lost very easily out there yeah backup battery for your cell phone as well um, my phone's about three years old and my battery dies very quickly so always make sure you have a backup battery if you have that kind of issue um, and then while we're talking waterfowl just wanted to mention the waterfowl passport again um, so the way this works is we have 14 ducks on here if you come in you buy any box of ammo we will give you one of these passes here um, you bring in the ducks that you shoot as you shoot them we will punch them out um, and once you get five of them we'll put you in a raffle to win a free mount by Fagan's taxidermy $450 value they do great work um, just want to thank them for partnering up with us on this yeah. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. That's Guns and Stuff episode so, eight, and uh, we'll see yeah. you next week. Thank you.